Okay, it seems like everything is going up in price these days. It doesn't matter if it's gas or food, cost of living. I'm surprised they're not taxing us on oxygen yet, but that could be coming. So the camping world is no exception. Campers have gone up, tent prices have gone up, campgrounds and campsites have gone up. So I'm going to show you a real quick way to cut the cost on firewood. All right, so you see here in this bundle of firewood, we've got some really big pieces in here. We could split these and get extra wood out of it. What's the purpose of doing that? Say you don't want a big campfire, you wanna save some, you only want a little bit in the morning. Maybe you want just a little bit before you go to bed in the evening. So we're gonna split this up to get more wood out of this bundle. Because these things went from $5, and depending on where you go, they're like $10 now. So you might as well get as much as you can out of it. And stick around because I'll show you how to make your own kindling out of this wood as well. Now, of course, you want some kind of a table to put this on. You want something sturdy. This isn't the sturdiest thing there is, but my other option is sitting it on the ground. So this is our makeshift table. All right, we were talking about kindling and stuff you use to help start your fires. Look at all these extra threads and shards here. Save some of those for later. Find you a good piece of wood. You can see there's a little bit of a crack right here in that wood. So I'm going to try to get it with my ax. Of course I have bad aim. Here's the loud part. So do this during the daytime. Don't do this at 9, 10 o'clock at night when your neighbors are like, who in the heck is beating on something like that? So here we go. We're just going to split this. You can see we've got the wood split here. And so I'm going to remove the hatchet or the ax, whatever you like to call it. I'm going to get it right there in the center. Finish off the split. That big piece of wood turns into two. If you have some better tips, be sure to include them in the uh, comment section down below. I know there's some wedges you can buy that would work a lot better than what I'm doing right now, but this is what I'm doing. So there we go, that big piece of wood is now two, and we can use a sharper ax to use these shards to help us start our fire in a little bit. Okay, so if you saw in the video where I reviewed the T-Move camping ax, it said it was junk. I redid the handle of it today with paracord, double wrapped it, wrapped it a lot tighter. Still has a nice little edge on it. So I'm gonna use it to shave some of this off so that I can have it to start the fire later.